Hello and welcome back to our second phonics lesson. Um, I hope you managed to watch the first one. Thank you if you did. Now, after all the excitement of uh, the first phonics lesson, where I thought these were back to front for you, they're actually not. They're back to front for me as I'm looking at them now. But luckily, once I've uploaded the video and you're watching it, they're the right way round. So it means that I can use my flashcards instead of having to show you the different sounds on the screen, which is good. Now, class one, I will be honest, I haven't practiced this bit for quite some time. And you know that normally when I'm doing my flashcards, they jump out of my hands and all over. So please try not to laugh if I end up sending flashcards all over my living room. But let's get started with some sounds and then I'll show you the sound of the day. So the first one, can you say it for me? Well done, I'm imagining in my mind right now, if you're at home or at school, you're saying these super, super quick. Probably quicker than I'm moving them. Well done. The sound for today then is ow. And I'm going to share my screen with you, just like with the last lesson, and I'm going to show you some pictures and some words and some sentences, and I'm going to be asking you as well, using my voice to ask you to write some things. So let me just share with you. Ow. Here we go. Ow is the sound of today. Here is a little video of writing Ow, thinking about the size of the letters. So these are both belly letters that make the sound Ow. Round. Start at the top. Down. Back up. Down and flick. Ow. There we go. Can you have a go at reading those words that are on the screen? They all have the ow sound. Try and imagine where you would put sound buttons on those words. I'm going to carry on, but if you need to pause the video or head back and have a look at some of those sounds, you can do. Oh, here are some pictures that have the ow sound. Can you try and write them down? Have a look closely at those two pictures. There's pictures of sprouts, sprouts. Can you try and write the word sprout? It's got an S on the end because there's more than one. Plural. Sp -r -out. S sprouts. And the next picture, I've just had a look out of my window and I can't see many of these in the sky this week. It's a picture of a cloud. Can you write the word cloud? C -l -out. 
loud cloud. Check which way round your letter D goes. Sometimes they're quite tricky, aren't those? Pesky letter D, Ds, those D, 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 Ds at the end of cloud. And again, I'm just going to move on. If you need a little bit more time, you can pause the video or hop back. Right, listen carefully then. I'm going to ask you to write some words for me. I've got no pictures for these words, but they've all got the ow sound in. Can you write for me the word loud? Loud. Loud. The noise is very loud. Loud. This time, can you write the word found? Found. I lost something, but I found it. Found. Found. Well done, everyone. Oh, a sentence. Can you have a go at reading that sentence that's on the screen? And can you decide, is it a yes or is it a no? Mm, yes or no? Quite a few sounds in that sentence. The owl sound is in there as well. Let's have a go at reading that one together. W if l will you tricky word there, you have been mean. It looks like it's got the owl sound in, doesn't it? But we learned that earlier on in the year. It's not yow. It's a tricky word. You will, you, e, see, will you see, k, l, ow, d, s, clouds, in, in, or another tricky word, the, m, ow, n, t, a, another diagraph in that word, it's a long word. M out a mountains mountains will you see clouds in the mountains will you yes or no I'm sure you're having a discussion about that one in the classroom like you we usually do that last word mountains is really tricky it's got two diagraphs in just take a few more minutes notice that my sentence has a capital letter and it has some punctuation at the end this time i've used a question mark because i was asking a yes or no question i'm going to ask you to write a sentence now and i want you to make sure that your sentence starts with a capital letter and has some punctuation at the end it might be a full stop it might be a question mark if it's a question it might be an exclamation mark if I'm trying to push something out. Listen carefully to my sentence then, it will have the owl sound in. Here we go. Can a sprout be proud? I'm going to count how many words are in that sentence. Can a sprout be proud. Five words are in that sentence. Can, 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 a, sp, r, out, sprout, b, e, b, p, r, out. Proud. 
can a sprout be proud? Check for capital letters. Check for finger spaces. Check there's some punctuation at the end. Can a sprout be proud? Can it? Maybe. Maybe if it's the tastiest sprout. Again, if you need to stop the video because it's taken a little bit longer to write, that's absolutely fine. I'm imagining that I've got a lot of children sat in front of me and I don't at the moment. So it's hard to, to work out how long it's going to take. So if you do need to pause the video and hop back, because I'm whizzing through a bit too quickly, I am sorry, um, but that is something you can do. Okay. Can a sprout be proud? I'm proud and I'm not a sprout. Okay, so at the end of the last phonics lesson, I did a little bit of Geraldine Giraffe and I did, off she went around the house to find something featuring. I found this really hard. I don't have any proud sprouts mountains in my house. Hmm. And then I realised I have this. And it's got clouds. It's my suitcase. I got it for Christmas. Still got the tags on. So I don't think I'm going anywhere with it. Maybe I'll bring it to school and it can be my new school bag. But it has the ow sound. So that made me smile. I hope you've enjoyed that little phonics lesson. Um, we'll be doing some more. And remember, you can do them at home or in school, and it's just my little way of saying hello and being part of your learning. Take care everyone, bye bye.